Hello, this is Why You Know Good, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make animated uh, sequences or like complex dynamic sequences in your map. Um, the, I am using the example of hold on, a citizen door from Half Life 2. Um, so it has, I made it a prop dynamic because it can't be static or any other ones so dynamic I think is the best one um, and you want to make it open but you can't um, so it's gonna, be st it's gonna start off idle close like when you spawn on the map but you want it to make it open when you come near it or something like that so what I'm gonna show you today is how to this actually works for any kind of prop it doesn't work just for the um, uh, doors um, so get your trigger out make it now well, a fair bit of in front of your door make that there double click on your brush or um, just click on it once in two entity two entity or control T whatever one you want make it a trigger once Make sure clients is clicked off. And okay. So here's the part you want it to open. You have your trigger here, but you want it to make it open. You need to go to outputs, add on start truss or touch, sorry. Oh yeah, I forgot. You need to name your door. So I'll call it door one. Simple as that. So on touch door one. And since it's a prop dynamic, you can make it a uh, set animation. Now, the animation I want it to is open, right? So uh, I'll just do, leave that one. So it's going to do that when you touch that trigger. But keep it on idle closed. So set animation in the width uh, parameter or override of and then just write in open and there you have it simple as that <clears throat> make it a little bit pre repetitive after a while but um you know it's worth it you'll get some pretty cool pretty cool thing oh crap i always keep i have a habit of pressing control s to save my maps Okay, so um, I guess I'll play some spawns. Quickly. And... Uh, Alright, oh, I guess I do have to save my map, so I'll just call it. Alright, so um, I guess I'll see you in game. Alright, we're in game and I'm going to be showing you how what it looks like in the end product. Of course, I just slapped this together quickly, so don't bug me if I the doors overlap with the walls. But um, yeah, see, now as soon as I clicked on there, it um, opened up. You can make it closed by placing like a trigger and make it on start touch. It will open and then on end touch over here or over here it will close again. Oh, it's just overlapping a little bit over there. But um, you know if if I could do this in like 50 seconds you guys could probably make way better maps and I don't know if you spend actual time on this. You can uh, do this not just with props, um, just make sure you're looking at the model like uh, sequences before you set the animation to in the parameter override to anything. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.